The butterfly board allows the Raspberry Pi to have two hats or fats connected at the same time, assuming there are no conflicts. In comparison to similar boards like the Pico Hat Hacker, the butterfly board is designed to be used with a female header with long pins on the Pi going to the first hat or fat, and the second header is spun around 180 degrees to allow the second hat or fat to be plugged in facing the opposite way. So pin 1 connected to the Pi and hat is on the bottom left, and pin 1 of the second hat is on the top right. The top side of the board has a line through the middle which is rounded on the left side to match the outline of the Pi below. With the text the right way up, the female header with long pins can be soldered on the bottom, and the male header at the top. I'm going to start by soldering the female header on first, as it's easier to get access to the long pins before putting the male header on. I find it easier to put the board into a broken Pi to hold in place while soldering. You could also use a mini vise or similar. You can never have too much flux, right? Then solder a pin at each end of the butterfly board, making sure the board is still flat against the header. I also have standoffs on the pie which help keep things in the right place for soldering. Once you're happy the position of the board is OK, you can start to solder the rest of the pins. If the position isn't correct, you'll need to sort it out now, before soldering any more pins, otherwise you'll end up making more work for yourself. Try not to use too much solder, especially on the long headers, otherwise when you come to put the hat on top it may not go onto the pins as far as you'd like. Soldering the long headers can be a little fiddly, especially trying to get the solder through the pins, but once you get the hang of it, it shouldn't take too long. It's worth taking some time here to make sure the solder joints are okay, especially the side closest to where the male header will go, as access is limited once this is in place. With the male header in place, the butterfly board should sit on the table fairly flat, which makes soldering the male header a little easier. Again, start by soldering a pin at each end and check the header is on correctly. And a little more flux. These go a little quicker, as it's easy to get in with both the solder and iron. Just 
I'm soldering on glass so it's slipping around a bit as you can see. Once done, check it over for solder bridges on the pins and then you can use it in your Pi projects.